Hey guys, today I'm going to do the CFO Eastern Final, Western Final predictions or previews and, and predictions video. I'm cutting it pretty close since it's already Saturday and tomorrow is the games, but I was going to do it on Wednesday, but then I was too tired too and I was like, forget about it. And yeah, I already posted a video tonight of day and night lyrics, so if you want to check that out, then check it out. So this is my second video, but obviously I'm not gonna like wait till tomorrow to post it because then the games are at one. I mean I don't wanna like cut it too close. So I mean I, I might just post it at midnight. Like right now it's like ten forty five, so yeah. But this is gonna gonna be the Edmonton, Ottawa, BC, Calgary preview. So basically again I'm just gonna like talk about the games, tell you my predictions. I don't think it's gonna be as long as my other one, because yeah. But okay, so let me start. So Edmonton is six four and on the road, which is pretty good. Wait, for, first let me talk about last week's per performances. BC came back down, like, a actually a lot, and I was, and I found that, like, like really good and, and impressive. They won by one point, 32-31. I, I, I did want BC to win, so I'm glad they did. Um, I do um, admit that w w Winnipeg played pretty good, too, because, yeah. So, um, it sucks that they lost by by one point. I mean, like I did feel good for BC because they're, they're, they're the home team. They came back, but I mean, like I also feel bad for Winnipeg at the same time because like they put their heart into the game too. Like only lo only losing by one in a playoff game sucks. So I I understand. So that was the, the that game was very entertaining. I'll tell you that. Now to uh the la the other other game at Ed Edmonton and Hamilton. Hamilton did come back. <clears throat> they were down by 15 or 19 points, I think 15. Somewhere between fi 15 and 20 points. And, and of course, like I said in my video, they're, they're going to come back, which they did. So they came back. Um, I, it's not like I didn't expect that. I expected them to come back, obviously. So, yeah, I mean, lost by three points because of that one turnover. Do you guys agree with me when I say that call on Zach, Zach Claris? I thought that was a roughing the passer. I mean, not not because it, it was like a high hit because it wasn't, but I mean just because it was a light hit on the quarterback when he already threw the ball. It was like a full two seconds. So I don't know why there was no penalty. Like, they even challenged that, but it was a whole holding call against Hamilton when it was actually a first down, which could have made them drag the ball and then gave them the game-winning field goal. But, and I saw in an article, a, a, officials say that they messed up in the calls. I'm like... So my team is out now because of the officials, but whatever. This is supposed to be this week's video, so yeah. So Edmonton, Ottawa, I think Edmonton will win. Ottawa does have some good players. Some players to watch for Edmonton are Shakir Bell, Mike Riley, or James Franklin if he comes in. Darius Bowman, Dion Lacey, o Odell Willis, uh, Darrell Walker. I think those play play players are really good for Edmonton, and I, and I think they'll make a difference. I don't know if, if I'm forgetting getting someone, so if I am. And then players to watch for Ottawa are Henry Burris, Trevor Harris, and Forrest Hightower. I don't know who else there is, to be honest. I, that's why I put down. So I don't really know what else, or who else, sorry. Um, so yeah, my, my prediction will be Edmonton, because I know Ottawa's at home, but they've been struggling. Um, Ottawa has won three straight, including last week's game in Hamilton. Um, and Ottawa has lost their last game, that, that, and they haven't played for a while, like, they haven't played for, like, I, I think one or two weeks now, I think one week, I don't, I don't even know, one to two weeks they haven't played, so they're, and, and I think they're pretty bad off the bye week, so, I think Edmonton will take this one in Ottawa. Some stats are, Ottawa did sw sweep Edmonton in, uh, like, the season series this year, and Ottawa has lost four of six games, four of their, four of their last six games. And now they're streaks. Okay, so Edmonton is 6-4-0 on the road, and Ottawa is 6-3-0 at home. So both teams are good in their position, like Ed Edmonton's good on the road and Ottawa's good at home. So it's going to be a pretty tough match. I mean, I'm going to watch it, of course. That, that, that game's going to be tomorrow, Sunday, November 20th, at 1 o'clock p.m., Eastern Final. So I'm, I'm going to be watching that game for sure. And then especially the one at 4.30 BC in Calgary. I almost going to be a great one, too. Yeah, so my prediction will be Edmonton, and yeah. So Edmonton won the last three, or won, won, won the last three games, and then Ottawa lost that the, the last game. So I think Edmonton will be able to take it. Edmonton's record is 10-8. and eight. Uh, Ottawa's record is 8-9-1. and one. So overall, I think Ottawa does have a chance, but I think Edmonton has the be better edge in this game. 
So yeah, there's my my prediction for them now and now BC and Calgary. So BC's record is 12 and 6. Calgary's record is 15, 2 and 1. Calgary is 9 and 0 at home. 9 and 0 at home. Some player players to watch for BC is Jonathan Jennings, Marco Ianusi, Sean Gore, Ryan Phillips, and Chris Rainey, in my opinion. Those players are, are probably going to make an, an impact in this game. Um, the, this game is going to be one hell of a game. I cannot wait to watch it. The, the, this game is going to be at 4.30 tomorrow, I believe. And then don't forget to don't miss the Grey Cup game. It's going to be Sunday, no, November 27th. It's going to be either at 6.30 or 7 o'clock. Usually it's at 6.30, but I think now it's at 7 this year. I don't know why, but it, it, it's usually at 6.30. But, yeah, so stay tuned for that. I'll, I'll also be doing a pre preview and prediction video for that one too. Of course, it'll only be like five minutes because it's only one game. But and then yeah, so players to watch for Calgary are Bo Levi Mitchell, of course, Mark Way McDaniel, Anthony Parker, and Jamar Wall. In my opinion, like all all the players that I put to watch are like the the players that I think will make a big impact. Not a big one, but at, at least some kind of kind of impact in the game. Um. So yeah. Calgary has put up 30 plus points in every single game except for one game. So eight of nine games, they got 30 points plus in a home game. So honestly, I think Calgary will take this one, but I think BC is not going to give up. I, I think BC will play their hearts out as well, but I think Calgary will be able to pull it off because they're at home and they're nine and zero at home. I mean, come on. I mean, going like going nine nine and zero at home is amazing, but going nine nine and one losing the most not not the most important because the most important is the Grey Cup game. But to get there, of course, you need need, need to win the Western Finals. So for Cal Calgary, it would be devastating being nine and zero at home and then losing the one game that that that, that really matters on McMahon. So honestly, I do think Calgary will win. It's just going to be a bit harder for BC. BC did come back, so I'm going to drink for a second. BC did come back, and I'm really proud of them for that because I was voting for them. But I think BC is gonna have their like BC is gonna have a tough time. I mean, I, I think they'll be able to win, but they have to try really hard. Like they have to play so well because against Calgary, it's like they're fi fifteen two and one. Two of those losses was because I know one of them, Bo Levi Mitchell, did not play, and then that that one tie was twenty six twenty six in Ottawa. That was a hell of a game too. I was watching that game. Um. Like, this is why I love all the CFL, because, like, you never know what can happen. You're down by 20, 25, just like the, like, the Thai Cats were, and then they won. CFL is pretty amazing. I mean, I can't wait for tomorrow's games, and especially the Grey Cup game. The, the playoffs is pretty insane. The games are crazy. They're, do, do you literally go down to the wire. You do not win by more than seven points in a game, I swear to God. Hamilton lost by three. Um, Winnipeg lost by one. Four points... They won by in two games, like two games, two losses for those teams. They only lost by four points combined. Like they, they didn't even 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 lose by seven combined. Like, so the the these games are gonna be close. I'm gonna tell you that. Oh yeah, and also and also BC B Calgary twenty to eighteen in week one in BC. So that game, so Calgary started off zero and one. So I thought they weren't gonna uh, gonna be a good team. But never mind. They won. They won like fourteen straight, and then they have that one tie. So just because you go zero and one or zero and two doesn't mean you can't completely change. And then you know. But yeah. So there was there was my video. Um, I chose Edmund Edmonton about fifty percent on CFL Pick'em. Oh, by the way, I was two and zero last week for CFL Pick'em. Because I picked BC because I, honestly I thought BC we would win hands down, but Edmonton proved or Edmonton Winnipeg proved me wrong, but BC still came out with a W, so I'm glad this video is almost ten minutes long. So I'm sorry I, I didn't think it would be this long, but whatever. So I hope you like my preview. My next video will be, I don't know if it's gonna be another lyric video. I don't know what's gonna be going on, but I know that I'm gonna be doing a CFL video again within a week because the week yeah, maybe I'll do it in a week on Saturday night the AI before the Grey Cup game. I don't know. I'll try I'll try to do it as early as possible so it's not too late. Because e even right now, I'm cutting it pretty close. Like, I don't like posting two videos in one night. But I'm, I kind of have to now because I posted that video that I really wanted to post. Because it, if you want to post a lyric video, you can't post a lyric video, like, 20 years after the song is, like, released. You have to post it, um... 
like you have to post it the day of or like a day after the music or the, the actual song is put out. I I think I'm like one or two two days late, so I don't know if as many people will watch it, but there'll still probably be some views. But anyway, though, that was my video. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.